It's going to free many people up from witchcraft. It's going to free many people up from witchcraft, from mind control, and also indoctrination. And I'm going to explain. Now, indoctrination is a doctrine, a person's belief. When that person or whoever it is give you their opinion or their belief, indoctrination comes in is when they tell it to you and they want you to accept it without any without any criticism without any uh, rebuttal so in other words it is a form of brainwash it's a form of brainwash how can it not be if someone tells you something and you can't give your opinion but you have to accept exactly what they're saying it's just like pouring something in a it's like pouring water in a container that water is going to the container the container ain't moving but the water is and so, and that's what that's what's happening. There are many, many people pouring into people's mind, they bring mess, indoctrination. That's what it comes down to. When someone wants you to believe something and tells you something, gives you their opinion, gives you their feeling, but then you disagree or you have an opinion then after which they become mad at you, then try to personally attack you in the kind of way they can? You tell me what that is. That's, that's control, that's indoctrination, that's bondage, that's witchcraft, that's all those things. All of those things. And it starts from that mouth. That mouth is, is, is the place, that mouth is the control room that controls, that paralyzes. Like a snake, when a snake, when that snake has a hiss, that hiss will paralyze, and, and that hiss means that I'm about to bite you. And so you, there's a whole lot of people that are hissing, and when you hear the hiss, it's an unusual hiss, you about to be bit. But I will say to you, my brothers and sisters, if you know Jesus and, and you have his spirit in you, and by chance you did get bit, you did get bit, and what bit you is full of poison, cause snakes, there are so many snakes that are full of poison. If you got bit and that thing is latching on your hand and trying to inject this poison into you, what you do, don't get, don't be afraid, don't get upset, don't get nervous. See, the enemy wants you to get nervous, and then see so you get nervous, then you have fear. Then we have fear, then, then you forget faith. But do like do like Paul did. He shook off the beast. When that when that was a that was a viper that, that snatched on that, that, that fast on his hand while there was shipwreck on this one island. And and the scripture said that as, as the fire had, had reached its peak of heat, there came a viper out of there and, and hang and, and latched on his hand, just stayed there. And so there's been so many things that might be latched on you right now and don't want to let you go. Bills, folk, situation, demons, mindsets, whatever it is, done latched upon you and don't want to let you go. But do like Paul. Shake it off and feel no harm. The scripture said, if you drink any deadly thing, it will not harm you. Hear what I'm saying? Now, that's Bible. That's the word. That's not an opinion. You go look it up. Is that all right? God bless you.